Hi, yeah. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is building a complete membership website from the start. Okay, so if this is something you're interested in, something you want to do, then hit the subscribe button down below this video and also hit the bell notification so you get notified as soon as I release any videos. Okay, so the purpose of this is I am looking to create a new giveaway for my website to entice people to sign up to my uh, newsletter, my email list. Okay, before what I've done is given away sort of products to other, you know, PDF forms now and different little products like that. So this time I thought, you know what, I want something that's going to last longer. I can just add to and use across different uh, websites, different um, products, different things that I'm doing. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is create a membership website. It's a free membership one on this stage. On another video, I'll show you how to add in sort of the payment options so you can do that. But for this purpose, it's just going to be a free membership and we'll go through everything that you need to do to set it all up. Okay, so like I said, what we'll do, we'll go across. This is my website at the moment, Adam Mac Web Design. Um, I don't have a pop up on my front page but I do have it within my blog for different products. So I have different pop-ups working on different things. Okay, so I want to create a new um, giveaway, free giveaway. So how am I going to do this? Okay, well, first problem was choosing the giveaway. Um, as you can imagine, setting up a product or a membership funnel or whatever you're going to do takes a lot of work. Um, I use a shortcut for a lot of my giveaways in the form of private label rights, okay? And I use this website here called Master Resale Rights. So I'll just log into here quickly. Okay. Now, okay, this is a great site. I did used to hunt down and purchase items separately. But the cost involved in this is minimal, so I would recommend going and joining up if you're looking for things to give away as sort of enticements to join lists or as bonus items or all sorts. Um, you get a selection of different stuff. You have private label rights, so you can go in and rewrite it. Stuff that you can just give straight away. There, resale rights, you can get rid of that. Giveaway rights, you get personal use, articles, ebooks, video sets, audio files. Just tons and tons and tons of stuff on here. So for me, what I was looking for, I thought I'd do the first bit I'll add into the, um, the membership site would be a course on email marketing. So I came in here, just typed in email marketing. Okay. And there's lots of resale right stuff, all different bits and pieces. There's a course there, which comes with master resale rights, so you can just get rid of that. But this was the course I chose, Email Marketing Basics, Private Label Rights. Okay, so what I did, I went through, downloaded this product. I think it's on this one, it might be on my laptop actually. Yeah, the actual product is on my laptop, so that's something I'll have to change around later, and I'll get it put onto here, because uh, it's quite large. But basically, what's involved in it is um, there's 10 video trainings, you get the graphics with it, you get a sales page, the sales page is fairly basic, so I'd look to jazz that up a bit. Um, but it was a good, solid product, okay? So that's the one I'm just going to look and add it into the membership site, and that's what I'll use, okay? But just to give you an idea, so if we went now, what else? We've got social media, search. Okay, social media marketing, whatever that one is, explosion. Clickbank and social media, now Facebook marketing made easy, Pinterest one now, modern social media marketing, that looks like a 
of course yeah so that will be a social media marketing in 10 steps looking at that that will be another video of course so that's another great giveaway build your tribes there's books there's videos there's all sorts you can use on here just download it either put it into a paid membership site give it away for free go in change some of it and make it into your own product it's really simple and like i said it's fantastic value if you want to go and check it out so i did that now the way I'm going to be building my membership site is in clickfunnels.com. Uh, ClickFunnels is absolutely superb. If you've not used it, I'd recommend you get get involved in using it. And I've I've only been a member for bloody hell, less than a month now. Not even a month, about. So it's the early part of last month was when I joined. So I'm not a massive person into all of this. Okay. Um, I learned everything I'm going to teach you within the last month. It's very intuitive, very, very easy to, to use. Um, I've already set up one course there, Funnel Domination, um, which was from a share funnel. And there's absolutely tons and tons of share funnels that I'm using at the moment and promoting. Okay, got it. So when you start, what you can do is go to funnels, click on now, and you go to add new. You have two different processes, the cookbook builder process and the classic funnel builder. The cookbook is a nice and simple setup where you just go through Tell, tell them what you want and it will start to put it all forward for you, like a recipe in a cookbook. So we click on Start Cookbook. Okay, what are we looking for? We'll put it down as Sell a Product and then hopefully it'll open up all these. Let's have a look. Membership Funnel. There we go. So you click on what you want. Gives you a bit of brief here if you want to have a read. So it says here which ones you can choose paid ones, but I'm not going to. Um, I think the blue's quite nice. That looks like similar sort of colours. I'll go for this one actually, Conquer. So it goes through what you get. You have page one, video sales page, the offer wall page, the membership access page, this is the first part we'll be concentrating on, and then into your member area here, which is what we're going to be building. Okay, I'm going to be giving this away for free. Um, however, that doesn't mean it's only free for those people who subscribe. To my newsletter however by creating a front page and the offer wall you are creating extra value or perceived value to that product so people if they are looking for it and go oh great yeah i can get signed up for free however it's probably free they can go and have a look look out there and actually find out that no to get access to this normally you would have to pay okay however we will just send them direct to this link where they can actually go in and log in okay so yeah, that's the one we're going to choose. Okay, Concurrent Membership Funnels. Let's give it a moment while it loads up. Oh, and here we go. As you see with Click Funnels, it puts everything here. So it's literally just one, two, three, four pages into this funnel. So that's your the video sales letter, which is your front page, your offer wall, which is when you do an upsell, which I am going to be planning to do. Um, then you get your membership access page when it opens up. And then 
your membership area where we're going to be putting all the lessons so in this one we'll just have the first section we'll rename that and then it will be the 10 video trainings okay so first of all do we'll just go into the access page first now to change a page you'll just click on edit page okay as you can see this is already what yours looks like you can have a logo in the top there so all you do click on it so images click funnels i'm going to change it to so a couple there's my website one so i'll put that one in and then oops you know, i can put that's one i'll put in the name of uh, Portal actually rather than the funnel image web with width you can link here generally do, I'll send them through to my website if they clicked onto there uh, com normal target URL in fact I want to make that a little bit bigger What you can do sometimes is just have a mess on 250 there you go so just by increasing the image width it's made the actual image bigger if i wanted to i could change the background image so if we go there settings image url advanced have a look through it's already got it's a full page no stickiness to it so sometimes you can get stuff to okay big color text color right well to be honest i'm just going to leave that with just sort of the city image i might change it for something to do with me later on we can put on here whatever we want welcome Okay, again, that's a bit big. So we'll click on settings. Right, let's do it. Font size, yeah. There we go. We'll do that. I want it white, black. Yeah, that that blue will do for the moment. What I'll do, in fact, because I have this blue running out. Good way to do this. Um, it's a little Chrome extension called uh, Colorzilla. It's completely free. If you click on there, page picker, you can go and find colors. It's copied it to the clipboard. Uh, copied it to the clipboard. Then I can go in, hit that, hit that, and then paste, and that's it. Now I've got the matching color. Um, what I'll do. Got loads of notes here already, but and I'll save that colour so I can use it throughout. Dark blue. Okay. Okay, da 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 da. Members email. All this. Just click on. Yeah, again, we can change the colour. So I'll go in, get rid of that green, change it to the blue. Okay, now this area is an automatic set area, so the actual click funnels works all this out for you on its own. You don't have to do anything. But to add this in, if it was just a blank page, go to here. Whoops, come off. To edit new element, get off. There you go. You want this one where it's orange. Edit new element. User login, and you will just scroll down. It will appear lower down. Click it. And it will just automatically put all this information in there for you okay and it will link it all to your account it does everything that you need it to do 
come down here in 2019. Okay, you've got a couple of links here so again that's just written that one so what I'll do is we'll take them down to own privacy policy and all we do is highlight to add a link Click the little link icon, paste that in, I'll do the same with terms, terms and conditions, Again, put a link in now, paste, and then on this side I haven't got a user agreement, so I'll just delete that. They are both very, very dark, so there should be a way. Just click off, orange settings, bold colors, have a look. Text color, just check, make sure that's the yeah, 85. I don't want that one, and I just want it in white that solid white. If that's worked, border power. No, I'm going to have to have a look because, for whatever reason, uh, font family, not all size. Don't know why the link itself line high. There'll be an overall setting which is doing that, so I'll find that in a little bit and then we'll come back. Like I said, this video I'm going to show you as I do stuff. Now, that is all you need for that page. Okay, so you can save that. Okay, and then we just go back into our main page and area here. So, membership area now. And we want to have a look. Secret sign up. Don't want that there. Open the membership area in the editor. Again, and go in. Everything keeps getting in the way. Web design. We did it. Two fifty. Top margin. Test. So if you have a support thing, you come here, put your link in, and that'll open it up. You can log out. Log out is already set by the system, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to remove support because it's not something I offer at the moment. Uh, same window. So I'm pretty sure if I just delete that. Delete that. Now I'm just down to dashboard and log out. Okay. Again, you've got the same background image. You've got the style in here. So I think if we go in, background color. That was our background color. So now we've got the same button there throughout. You've got a search icon, which you could move there if you wished and um, category name 
and this just gives you a general outline of how everything will appear. This isn't a lesson, this is just a template for you to put all your lessons into. Okay, so again, we'll save that because I'm quite happy with that one. And then we'll come out. Okay, now there are, I'll come and do these later. But here in settings, if you've added a, um, you can come and rename everything, give yourself a new domain, add, it, add and edit domains and stuff like that, and change the path, things like that, okay? So, I'm going to give it that so I know what it is. Okay, these are the ones I've already got. Okay, um, so you can come in here to add a new domain or a subdomain, see, like these are other ones I've already built. Okay, so we're here. What we're going to have a quick look at now is we want to give this membership funnel its own domain and the best way to do this is by setting up a what's called a subdomain so here you see digitalfreedomllc.com is the name of my company and was a domain name that I've got given free from ClickFunnels when I joined them um, however I've got other pages here which are completely separate websites and they just run on what's called a subdomain so you just choose a front part for it and then that will create your subdomain. It's really quite simple to set up. So to set it up, um, if I rightly go here, into your domains. So and then you're going to create the subdomain within this one. So you come here, click on edit, go down, and you want to edit zone records, and then basically. See, these are my other ones. So you just choose add, C name, what we're going to call it, um, membership. Yeah, we'll do that for the moment. I could always go in. And then target.clickfunnels.com. Save that. Okay, once that's done. Go back to your domains, and then we want to go add a new domain. Now this normally takes a little bit to do. Use an existing domain, and we're going to call it. Oh, what do I call it? Membership. Membership dot digital dot com. Add that domain. Then it'll ask you, have you done this? Have you done that? Da, 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 which I have. So I've done this step. Let's check. Customers won't be able to access. You check it, but it normally takes, you know, probably about an hour for it to go through the system. So this might not work yet. Yeah, we haven't been able to verify. However, that will happen in the next few hours. And then I'll come back in and I'll be able to connect it. So don't worry about it. And if we go back... Funnels, uh, Conquer Membership Funnels, so if we go into that, you can go to Settings because it hasn't saved it from where I was. I won't go with that one. Yeah, because that's what I've been using, isn't it? So it's going to be over there, path. Paste. Put a little dash in between each of these. OK. 
Okay, that's that. You don't have to worry about any of this other stuff. Just go all the way down the bottom. This is what I never did before. Save and update the settings. Again, you need to leave it a little time for it to go through the system, but it will do. And then you'll come in and this will be changed later on once we add the uh, membership actual um, the subdomain that we put on. So, like I say, we've got to wait for that to sort itself out first. Okay, I'm going to come in, I'm going to do the actual front page. In fact, I'll go in, I'll just do a few little quick amendments on this. Okay, we're going to change that to that. I'm going to change the writing. Here, as I said earlier, there was um, Master Resell Rights was where I got the Private Label Rights product. Now, I've transferred it onto this computer now. So if we go to Desktop, Email Marketing, oh, why are you not there? Elements. Email marketing, and here it is. So I'll quickly copy. Oh, there it is. So it's there anyway. Okay, so it's on now. And this is what you've got within that, that product. You've got sales letter as a PDF document or HTML up here. Oh, no, that's master resale rights. Uh, where am I going? That's where I'm going now. Um, so if we go in HTML, the index page, I want to do it, open it up. Okay, I'll just drag this across. So email marketing basics, this is the web page that comes with it. However, it has all the information that you want, the images and a quick breakdown of every video. So it's nice. It's already most of what you need there. Okay, as a thank you page, if you just want to set it up as a little website. Um, here, you've got all the images, you've got the footer, you've got an order button, header, flat cover book, disc book, and you've got that one there with everything in. Um, you can give them away as audios if you want to. Um, it comes with a sales video, so it's got its own video, which, to be honest, I'll probably stick into this page. Um, you've got all your 10 different courses. Okay, so that, and that's all ready to go. So it's brilliant and easy to do. I've got the actual sales page opened up on my other screen, so I can... Just because this is a thing, I'll go through and tidy this up later. There is a um, product out there in uh, Click Funnels called it's not Funnel Hacker, it's Funnel Scripts, where you can go and literally cut and paste all your copy. It has thousands upon thousands of different headlines, sub headlines, everything you can imagine. So if you don't like writing, you can just go on there and actually get it all written for you. So go in, I'll change that to the blue, text color. That was the text color. No, it's not done it. That's the right one, isn't it? Yeah, all oh, right, okay, doesn't look quite the same. Um, Create 
crazy. Okay, what I'll do, I'll put a video there. Here we go, what you'll learn. Um, let's have a look. Should be able to add. So. Um, icon color, icon. Oh, it's just a little image. And I'm just trying to find if I discover text color, background color, icon color, opacity. Oh, there, icon picker. So we can go in here. And then to make it simple, I'm going to look just for like an email icon or something. And I'll choose well, email icon. Just gonna uh, go. Copy. Paste. And just quickly. So there you go, video one. Rule the world channel, that works, doesn't it? So now if I wanna if I like that, what I can do is actually clone and then I can just lift it, move it across there. Video two, cheers. Let's get rid of these full stops off here. Again, and go in advanced. Not like a I'll use a little person now. Uh, video three. Paste. In fact, what I'm going to do here, I'll do these three and then I'll come back and I'll finish this, but this will just give you a, a quick idea. Get off. Um, again, clone that. Take that across to there. Video three. Uh, connections. Okay, before we jump in, before, yeah, okay, um, this is all what we learned. So, what we can do is actually go in, we'll add a single column or a single row, 
add new row. And then we can have a look down here, we're going to have a headline in now. So I'll put that in now. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Paste. We'll change that to our blue. Okay. And then we'll put in another. Using the orange because we're only putting in blocks. Paste, and then we're going to add in another. No, I want to delete that. Oh no, that's right. And then we just want text. Subheadline image, does it do just text? Text area. Oh no, I don't like that. Just don't like the fact it's gone. There you go, so I'll just delete that. Okay. What I'll do, I'm just going to add another element. Let's put in as another sub headline. Copy. Paste. Just make it a bit smaller because it's very, very big. Now 20, make this one bold, if we can, in fact I'm sure I've seen it now, I'll have to highlight, make that bold, come down, speak, and have an image, now I'll go here and we'll nick, well not nick, because I've already got it, we go upload desktop graphics images and we'll use this one. Double click on it. I've now got that in there. There you go. What I might do is go in and just make this transparent on the background. Um, okay. What you'll learn. Okay, and there you go. So then add to cart. I don't want to do that yet. See, this is a th got three parts in it. What I can do is actually just clone, and then I'll be able to go in. Video 4, video 5, ah. and video 6, then do another clone, 7, And then what I'll do is I'll clone it again, because we've got the last one. Um, but what I'll do is I'll empty this information out here somehow. Let's have a go. So they're all separate little bits. So for the time being, And then you've got down here, add to cart. So we'll go in first of all, we'll change the background colour to our blue. That one. Yeah, A5. Okay, and then what I'll do is if I wanted to change this, you go set action, add to cart or purchase or whatever. Set action. There 
we go. And then you can submit the order, go to a different website, which will be the next link into the net, go to the next funnel, next step, which is where the payment will be made. But I'll do that in a separate one. This is just to show you how. So that's the front page. Again here, go in, delete that. Oh, what's the one I've got up top already? Okay, we're going to go terms and conditions, copy. Privacy. I've missed the, missed the T off of there. So, what I'll have to do. I just copied that. Copy. Yep. Why is it not doing this? Right, let's quickly go on and we'll break that. So now it's returned back to normal. Highlight it properly this time. Make sure I've got that. Terms and conditions. Paste. And in this one, we'll do the privacy policy. Back, let's press back. It should be there, yeah. Okay, we've got both of them now. 2019. Like. Sure. Okay, so there we go. So we've got that. Um, I'll go through and edit all these bits of information, add them in. Um, this video here got a sales video that came in the video let's have a look it's got to be here there you go so we've got the demo already so i'll upload that or i'll probably redo it myself so it's me talking but and then just put that in here so what will happen is i'll show you you'll upload it to your Your YouTube channel. Okay. Go to your channel. Once you've uploaded it, That's the link for it there. So I'll copy that. I'll just leave me rabbiting away. Come back and then anywhere where you want to put video, click on it and it'll give you some choices here. Okay, so we want it from YouTube. We'll put our YouTube in. And that's it. So now, yeah, that's there. And then come up, make sure you save your work. Again, that's shrunk down. We've got 250. Save in, saved. Okay, so now you've got front page, all the infos there. In fact, what I'll do, I'll pause it. Okay, so I've just quickly rattled through this front page using all the information from the sales letter. 
Okay, so you go through text, images, all the breakdown of what you get in all the different videos, um, another headline, then an image, and make that one smaller. Um, That's okay. Okay. What I'll do, I'll go in and get rid of this white by creating some uh, transparent backgrounds. So I'll just clear away this this stuff here. Um, as you can see, I want to create a bit of space around this one. So I think if I go into settings. Border. Oops. Oh, that's great. Border looks nice anyway. Well, I'll have a look at that later. But, you know, now it looks like a proper sales page. Don't I normally need to get your image pop up there. It's definitely my YouTube video. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it for the minute. Save that. Okay, we've saved now. So we'll come back out. The offer wall, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment because I'm not going to be doing an upsell at the moment. Oh, there's the video, so it has appeared on there, so it will be live. Now we'll just go into the membership area because we want to do that. Okay, so now we can come in and we can start changing this. So I'm only going to have the one course in here. Email, in fact, we'll do um, VIP. Now, all authorized members, because you can limit. Um, once I've got, say, email, basic email market in this, this membership is here. When I create the next one, say if I do a social media training package or Google My Business or whatever it will be, what I can do is I can set it up so that they can access one for free. However, they then go to that next page. And if they want to have more courses within their membership area, they can click on it and they can upgrade their membership, pay more, and it will add that course or however many courses. And you can do upsell, upsell, upsell. So for this one, I'm just going to be leaving it with the one course because this is the only one I've got at this moment. However, over the next week or so, I'll probably have two or three different courses in here via two or three different landing pages, all linking to the same course. But what will happen, they'll land on the sign up page and then they'll sign up for free. This will then take them to an upsell where they can access pay extra and get all the courses. But I'll do a separate video as an additional to this. OK, so update lesson section. So I'm just going to call it Welcome VIP and that first lesson Go in, edit, welcome first. Comes, you can delay it so that each lesson comes out on separate days. Uh, release date, none of that reminds us. Okay. So I'll put that in there, update that lesson, and I'll add a video in there. Then we're going to come to here. Basics. Okay, and then first lesson. Oh, so we just clone it, so lesson two, lesson three. Okay, so we're going edit. First lesson, adoption to email. Course, trip delay comes, required time. Da, 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 da. Yep. Update that lesson. Oh. First lesson. 
second one will be end goal. Okay. Okay, and it's going to put them all in lesson one, lesson two. Now you can go, this will just give you a title. Load in the editor. All right, okay, so they all come in here. All right, so this is where we'll be able to put in all the lessons in. Okay, so, yeah, and it works exactly like a normal page. So you'll have your lesson title, which is welcome to now marketing course or you could just call it lesson one in fact we'll do that I think take the bold off then we can paste in the text. You can download it, I think, but what I want to do here, I want to add a new element, which will just be a video. Let me add new element, video, delete that one, because I don't want the picture. And again, I've created a list here, I've uploaded, I've been onto YouTube, um, So if you go into, you can upload videos and mark them as unlisted, so they can't be found um, until you're ready for them to be found. So if we go here, videos, and I've got my 10 videos already, but they're all ready to be put onto the membership site, but they're unlisted at the moment. So you can't actually access these on YouTube. However, people can watch them via the actual membership area. Okay, so I've uploaded them all and then copy. Oops, not Vimeo, let's go to YouTube. Paste, auto play off, so they have to go on it. Diddle it there. Okay, that one's done. Now I can set it up as a download so you click on there set action and what it'll do paste okay go to next step that's it so they'll click on there I'll, do, I'll change that from download now to watch now Set action, that's oh, not saved it. Paste. Now, oh. you see that when I click it, it actually changes what that um, is going to do. So it's going to take us from that URL to the one in thing. If you don't click it and come out of this page, it doesn't save it. So, and then we'll just go down. I've been that. Add new element. Like I said, I'm learning here all the time as well. Go. Copy. Go into here. YouTube. Paste. YouTube. Yeah, that one's okay. I'm going to go into here. Watch now, set the action, paste, I don't want to open it up. If you look here, it's a warning saying there's nothing now. I've put it in, hit enter, and it changes. Okay, 
slash type two is what's your end door? Okay, and what I'll do, here you can see they've done it slightly different with a bigger screen here. So what I might do is move this down. I might mess on in a minute. What I'm done is going to pause this and I'm going to quickly go through and put in the 10 different um, lessons. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've been through. I've got my 10 videos. They're all in now. I'll just save that. So there's a lesson, but I'm having this as a course. Is course. Quite for good. There we go. All the videos are all set up. I'll just click save just in case. Save in. And then down the bottom here, you've got this one. What I will do here is I'll get rid of the video there. Um, I don't know if I've got an image. No, it's not. Then there. So what I'll, what I'll do down here um, is we'll do lessons during the training. So. Just trying to think of a better way because I don't like that there. What we'll do, we'll add in one column. There's a column gone. Ah, oh, that's why it's put it underneath. Okay, we're going to move this up into there. Um, Settings. Yeah. And I want it center. I'll turn it into the blue. Yeah. And then down here, I'll get rid of that because I don't like that. Um, this is too small. So what I'll do, I'll create two columns. Oops, I was mentioned should drop that into there. Now I'm going to move that into that element, move that into there, and then we'll also add a heading. So there it comes, and it was going to fall in the wrong spot. So we go there, and then on this side, I want an image. Okay, and then uh, click funnels. Uh, I want it in this bit. Centralize that, I'll centralize that. Access now, so text. 
I want it centralized. So let's have a look. It's got to be something on here that will let me to put it in the middle. Um, some text by ball. No. So I'll leave that for the moment. But what I'll do is I'll set this up. So the action, go to a website, which will be my affiliate link for ClickFunnels 14 day free trial. ClickFunnels at limit.com. Yeah, so it's done now. I'll have to work out how to centralize that. It's got to be a way. Fill width. There we go. So I've done that now. Okay, and then what I would look for here is a click funnels image. I've got one. No, upload. I'll just put that. Up. Click funnels. Then clone that. Get response. On this power to send emails. And again, access now. And I'll change that to my get response affiliate link. Yeah, so get response. So that's now done. I don't know if I've got get response one here. But what you can do. Google click on images now that one's got a nice one save image it's going to do it into my downloads and I'll just use that one for the time being. Response. Okay. Let's see how I'm going to do all the text afterwards. Uh, what's always worth doing behind an image, you can always put um, a link URL. So they do click on the image it will take them through to the website that you want dot com and then do the same with the com okay so therefore, underneath that bit of training, once they've come and watched the video, it's got a couple of links. So we'll come out of this now. Okay. Welcome VIP. I'm sure I put it into there, didn't I? Just check. Yeah. So for the time being, what I would do is I'll delete the other stuff when it comes back on. Come on, come on, come on. And 
Okay, so we're back to here. I'll change that because if you remember rightly, it's not that now the entire course is there. So, lesson section, introduction, email marketing, basics course. And so we can bin this part. Somehow, edit. Damn lessons. Uh, so what I'll do actually, I'll get rid of these. Delete that. Because all I want now. In fact, what I would use these for. Is I'd create a section separate area. Learn more. Update that. Line. Take that one. And then what I'll do is come in. I need to delete this somehow. <laughs> so I'll go on, I'll find that out and I'll add that in how to delete a lesson because it doesn't have like a bin area. Um, and I don't think I can, oh no, okay, if I move that. I'll not put it into another lesson. No, so I'll have to. I'll find out how I can actually delete that. And it's wiped out the other bits I did. Oh, no, it was the other one, wasn't it? I'll learn more, that's right. Yeah, and what I'll choose these ones for is I'll do some research on YouTube. Um, and I'll put in some affiliate links, some additional training, because if you've not come across ClickFunnels before, uh, Russell Brunson, who's the CEO of that, does some absolutely amazing, amazing training. Um, and just watching the videos is worth its weight in gold anyway. So I'll put them in as additional training in there, and then I'll probably put in some other products, which are more about making money online and things like that. So that's... All of that, so that's the membership area done. Add new lesson, lesson section. So I'm happy with that. Again, it gives you your, your different um, login URLs here. However, these are set at the moment on here. So if we go back, I think it's settings. Yeah, membership site domain. We could see there's a domain is now available, www.membership there. Um, so then that's the path for the page account. Save. Okay. So we've now got a sales letter. I said at the moment what I'll do, I'll go through, oh, I've forgotten to do that bit. I don't know if it gives you a choice if you go all the way down. Comment by now. Set action. Alright. Because I'm not going to set that up yet, so what we'll have to do is actually come out of there. Leave. And we'll have to wait until go to here, secret sign up, and copy that back to the virtual sales letter or the video sales letter into there. Come all the way down. 
I'll do we'll change that to test now. Set the action. That's now in there. Back and save. Because what you can have is the access now. If someone clicks on this, it takes them to a landing page, and then you can capture their email address or have a pop up that will capture their email address. But I'll set that all in place shortly. So now, let's see. No, the um, domains still aren't live. So what I'll do, I'll leave that for a couple of hours. And then once the domains are live, I'll just double check. Um, oh, what did I call it? What did I call it? Membership dot um, digital freedom com. No, it's still waiting. It's still going through the system. So we'll have to wait until all the um, the domain names are set up correctly, and that's it. You should then have a fully working membership site. So, like I said, what I'll do, come out of there, I'll go through, I'll mess on with these last bits and pieces, um, get the last bits up and uploaded to uh, YouTube, so it has the sales letter in that front video, I might put a pop-up into it, but I'll create them as videos for you and show you the entire process. Okay, so I'll stop this now, um, and I'll go and do the last bits and pieces. Like I said, I've got to wait for this to actually go through and propagate throughout the internet so that it can be found. Uh, yeah, and welcome back. We're just continuing with this video. I had to take a break from it just whilst I was waiting for the uh, SSL to secure socket layer encryption to be put in place. So I'll go over that briefly. Uh, I've made a few other little tweaks and changes, which I'll just quickly cover now. So on the front page, as you can see here, I uploaded a video quickly onto YouTube. Did that yesterday. Um, so now it's got the sales video. Now the sales video I actually got here was within the PLR product anyway. So I literally just uploaded that. I went onto Canva and created a very quick sort of little thumbnail. I'll put a link, I've got a training on Canva so you can see how to do it. Very easy, it's free, absolutely brilliant bit of kit, but perfect for creating thumbnails, whether it's for YouTube, Facebook, anything like that, it's great. Okay, um, the other bit I had to sort out was the domain, okay, because I was waiting for the SSL. So yesterday when we went through domains, I showed you how to set up underneath the account that you've already got your domain main domain name uh, go into that go to edit zone records add your new domain target click funnels save that that sets up the subdomain after that back to domains click on add new domain and you'll go use an existing domain remove the www dot and then put like I would do it's membership dot digital freedom LLC dot com okay that will then connect to your new subdomain okay so once that's connected sometimes it takes a little bit of time but just be patient uh, once that's connected you come back to where your new subdomain is go into edit again SSL and here you'll have a thing just saying, do you want to put SSL onto it? So click OK onto that. Again, leave it for a few hours because it takes time for the actual encryption to be completed. Once it's done, you won't see it. What you'll see on your domains is this padlock will be open. It'll be a grey colour and it'll be open. To get it to green and it's secured, come here, go back into edit. 
SSL, expand it, and it'll have the word check. So click on check, you'll then get a big green box appear at the top saying your site's now su successfully secured with SSL, or so something like that. That means then that you've got HTTPS, you've got the security on there. You can just close that. Another good little point here, where it says 404 error page, go into there and make sure where you select an error page, just choose your main page. So it just, if it does receive an error, somebody types it in wrong, all that will happen is it will put you back to your home page, okay? Not just getting a big 404 error. Okay, so it's just a couple of little bits there. Okay, so if we go back to our funnel. I'll head into here. Okay, so if you remember rightly, we've got the front page. Okay, this is what it now looks like on the live version. Um, let me shoot and it'll see. Keeps doing this for some reason. It's just to do the history on my system. Yeah. Um, I'll just need to go and purge it. Okay, so here you go. This is what I built using its complete PLR product. All the contents there, everything's there. Copy and pasted the information in, just tidied it up. Okay, should go through, just change these icons about. Uh, grab the course today, last one, and then access now. So you click on access now, takes them through. They can then create their account or log in, whichever one it wants. And then the next page will take them. Let's see. And there we go, we are through. Right, I'll have to have a look at that because it's not saved all the work I did yesterday. That's why, so I need to switch them around, which I'll do. There's all the videos. Hello and welcome to video number 10. So what I'll do, I'm gonna change this around so these videos are much, much bigger. If they wanna watch them on now, Opens them up on Hello and welcome to, video. to YouTube. Okay. And as I said there, bring up, click funnels, get response, all the other bits you want. I'll go in and quickly update this bottom thing. So that's very quick. They can log out or this brings them around on their dashboard or they can log out. Okay, so last couple of bits I want to cover. Okay, if we exit out of here, the membership access page is completed. That's automatic. So on there, when they input their details into there, it will automatically take care of it and forward them straight onto your membership area. Okay. So this is the membership area, and as I said, um, okay, so welcome VIP, so I need to put in, okay, let's do it, what I'll do here, open the editor, Centralize that. Okay. Oh, that's why, because we've gone into the line as opposed to font size. Okay, we'll bin that one, and then 
basically I want to get rid of all of these Okay. New section, add new row, that's what we want, we want one column. And all I'm going to stick in now is video. And then And their element on headline and sub headline. And what I'll do, I'll put some information. I'll make this one generic because I want to add other courses in there. Save that. And we'll come out of there. Okay, so that'd be welcome. So of course, just call it welcome. That's better. Email basics course. Now, if you want to delete it, the reason I couldn't see it yesterday was because of the video screen. So if I shrink this in a little bit, you can see across the bottom. So I want to get rid of this for the time being. There you go. So now that's done. That's why I couldn't see it because it was over there. Um, and again, what I'll do with these is I'll put in some more links to other training, other courses. Right, so I'll come back and I'll do them in a bit. So first lesson two, lesson yet. And I'll go through, I'll find some good stuff to put onto there. Okay. Um, now, nearly finally, what I'll do, I'll screw that back across. Okay. You've got these great big, long, ugly sign-up URLs. So when people come in, instead of just saying membership area, it's got all these numbers on the top. Okay, so now to get rid of that, all you need to do is go into see the publishing or settings. Yeah, see here it says path. Just delete that. Update page. And then if we go back to membership access page. Hopefully, right, it's changing now, it's putting that on, so we might have to just rename it. membership access there it's done that because it hasn't got another one of that accounting now um, so then you can just go through change these and then it will automatically propagate that through the actual funnel itself the last little piece go into there whenever you capture somebody's email account what you want to do is you can automatically capture any details being put into here now, so what I mean is if someone comes along, they sign up for your funnel, um, you want to capture their email address, put that into your get response account so that you continue to be able to market to that person. Okay, so it's dead easy. You need to set up your get response, set up a list. Okay, so then you'll just come onto a page that has an email, go to settings, 
integrations. See it's not connected. Choose your integration, which I've already got mine done. Get response. Add to a campaign. Add to a list. That's now connected. So anybody who joins this comes along, I can continue to market to them as well. Okay, so that's dead easy to do. Also come in, your SEO metadata. At the moment, see it's got Conquer, which was the original one. Just name that. Save. And that's it. Um, yeah, that's all done. I've saved it. Come in here. Membership design. Just have it as a map plate design. So we've got a link there, all rights reserved. Save that. I'm going to delete dashboard as well. So we just have the option to log out at the moment. Okay, so that's it. Now all I'm going to do, I'll have a quick rattle through. I'll finalize the last little bits and pieces, um, just so everything's looking good. Uh, and that's it, but that's as easy as it is to go through and build a complete membership website. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Like I said earlier, I'm new to ClickFunnels. I've been using it less than a month now, um, but I've, it's very, very simple. Once you get through the initial sort of stages of it being a slightly different web design platform to what you may be used to, whether you use WordPress or use other sort of methods, um, it will come very, very quickly. It's very intuitive. It's also got, if you do get stuck, um, I'll just show you this because I found this really helpful. So it's come to the help. Get help and then what you do is you type your question in here um, see if it does it click that when you continue it gives you a load of answers okay all the bits and pieces of how to do stuff um, if it doesn't have the answer that you want just click on I still need help and then what will happen is that gets sent away as an email. Then within normally about an hour to two hours max, you'll receive an email back. What that allows you to then do is open up a live chat with somebody. Um, so they'll answer your questions if they can by sending you the documentation. If you don't get the answer you want, just click on want to chat to somebody and you'll be able to just go straight online and you can talk and get them to answer your questions. It's actually one of the best support things I've seen. It's very easy and like I said you get somebody contacts you back and then they deal with the problem for you straight away whilst you're live on the actual screen. Okay so if you want to see this funnel working I'll leave the link in the description below. <clears throat> I'm also going to earn uh, no, out not actually um, so you can go along you can join the membership funnel you can access that training Go and do the email training and I'll continue to update it with more email courses, or not email courses, more digital courses so that you can continue to learn and hopefully get the most out of this. Okay, 
So click funnels for me is a game changer. It's I've looked at it, I'm changing my business and the way I do stuff based on what I've learned through click funnels. It's been brilliant for me, and believe me, if you're an entrepreneur, you're a business person, you're trying to drive sales, you're trying to pick up leads, then it is the way to do it. It's absolutely fantastic. So what I'll do then, I'll leave all the links, everything you need down below in the description. Please, if you've got any questions, fire them down into the comments section below, and then I'll answer them and I'll get back to you. So I hope you found this useful, and enjoy. Thank you. Once all that's done, I'll bring it back on, okay?